these are my inside tips and tricks to keeping a positive mindset, setting myself up for business success and feeling great about myself. My name's Sensi and I'm a professional kiteboarder and entrepreneur. I'm the owner of Sensi Girls Bikinis where it's my mission to empower women in water sports by giving them the confidence that they need and the swimwear that they can rely on. And I use morning routines to really set myself up for front-loading positivity so that I'm going to reap lasting benefits for hours to come. To me, starting my day in a positive way means getting stoked on what I've got going on and getting stoked on life because I truly believe that life is meant to be enjoyed and that is why we are here. Okay, let's just dive right in, shall we? Yes. The very first thing I do when I wake up is grab my cell phone because it's a habit and I'm not going to try and get you to break that habit right now because it's a tough thing to break. Um, my business coach actually has started leaving her cell phone outside of her bedroom, but I'm not going to ask you to do that. Instead, when you first wake up and reach for your cell phone, that's okay. Let's focus on one thing at a time. But instead of opening up your social or your email, which immediately gets your mind in the go-go mode and mode, the comparison mode and the putting out fires mode. I want you instead, and this is what I do, is open a journal or a notes app and write down three things that you value in yourself. So you remind yourself of what you find valuable about yourself. <laughs> because this really increases your self-worth. Self-worth. And when we have self self-worth, I don't know why that's so hard to say. We feel better about ourselves, and from that place, we can really show up for others. And this is something that I've been tuned into doing lately because I believe that if we're feeling low and when we wake up and start comparison, we it brings our vibe down and we can't serve our customers or our families or our job in the best way possible. And so instead of going to your social app, try and change that habit to what do I find value in? And that can be um, that you really showed up for your family and took care of your kids. That can be that the half marathon that you ran last year. That can be the project that you completed at work. That can be that you value how your worth at work ethic. So any bit that you can give yourself, I mean, we want to focus on that self-love so that we can have that positive ripple effect. So number one is write down three things that you find value in yourself. Remind yourself of that. Okay, number two, and I'm still in bed at this point, I'm still in bed, is I meditate. It allows me to get my mind going um, a little bit more slowly. I like to do it from bed because Maybe I'm a bit lazy, but you can get up and go sit quietly somewhere. But I use the Insight Timer, which is a really fantastic app that has tons of free guided meditations. And I listen to a gratitude meditation or a motivation meditation or a stress reduction meditation or whatever I'm needing. And there have been tons of studies done on the benefits of meditation, so I'm not going to go into all of the details here. But I think the biggest thing to note is how much meditation helps to reduce stress. From the literature that I've been reading, stress is something that our culture has plenty of. And it's something that's really been debilitating for people and really affects your body, affects your performance. It creates disease in the body. And I actually think that it's a huge negative phenomenon that's happening and so one thing I do want to point out is that meditation can help cool that and I've experienced that firsthand I actually had a, um, a rather hard march in my business and uh, one day in particular I was being a lot of emotion negative emotion was coming up and I was feeling really stressed and um, I took five minutes and I did a meditation and I ate some dark chocolate and I felt better I was able to release and let that feeling go so that's the second thing I do to start my day in a super positive way. Third thing is I get up, I brush my teeth, I splash cold water on my face. I like to use splash cold water on my face because apparently this changes your physiology and it's, uh, 
I don't know exactly what it does, but it changes your physiology and it does something positive. <laughs> we should look that up. Someone find it out, put it in the comments, tell me exactly what it does. But I do that in the morning to really get myself going and start, um, once again, get that positive momentum. The more positive momentum you can front load, the better off that you are going to be for the rest of your day. Number four on my list of starting a day in a positive way is I make myself a cup of hot water with lemon because this really helps to get everything moving. It's really alkalizing, balances the body out, and I just find that this ritual helps start the body process without, instead of a lot of people go to a cup of coffee, um, but really focusing on getting that first glass of water in the morning is gonna help get your um, bowel movements more regular, help get everything um, going for the day. So there's that. <laughs> And then I take my cup of hot water and I crack open my journal and I start journaling. I really think that journaling is super good for the soul. It's very self-reflective and it allows you to be introspective. It's a time where you can list out things that you're struggling with, things that you're stoked about, things that you're perhaps wanting in your life. And I think that it allows you to actually go back and look at that time when you might have had stress that you need to work through or look back in your life where you can find things that are really, really positive. And so I think journaling is really awesome. Okay. But in my journal, I actually have a three-step system that I like to do. And number one, I list out everything that I'm grateful for. And I don't know who exactly said this quote. Um, it's attributed to Oprah. But the quote is, if you don't appreciate what you have, you'll never have enough. And I think that is so super spot on because you can just be striving for more and more and more constantly, right? I mean, even Oprah, she's one of the richest women in the world and has, I'm sure, everything her heart desires, but she can still be comparing herself to the Sheik of Arabia who has his harem of women and perhaps that's something that she desires. And so there's things that she does not possess that she can't not physically possess that someone else has that she could possibly compare herself to. Now I'm not saying she does, but I'm just saying that it's never gonna end unless you appreciate what you do have. And so gratitude we know is, is good for the soul and it's something that, that should be practiced. So number one is to look at all the gratitudes. Number two is to focus on what I can do to enjoy the day. And this is to me is really important because once again, it goes back to joy, bringing that joy and energy into our life. And I think that when you write down, hey, what's gonna make my day great? You're gonna find ways to incorporate that into your day. And it can be the same every day. It can be as easy as I'm going to go for a walk for 10 minutes and take a break from my computer. Or I'm going to spend 10 minutes while I'm drinking my cup of coffee sitting outside in the sunshine and getting some vitamin D. But writing down what is actually going to bring you joy is going to allow you to focus on that and bring that positive energy back into your life. Well, there's a third one on my daily journaling, which is I write down affirmations. And there's been, once again, a lot of studies on how great affirmations are and how if you can't imagine yourself doing it, you're not going to be able to get there, which is so true. If you don't think you can do it, you probably won't. You probably won't. And so I write down um, affirmations in my business and my personal life of how I really want to show up into the world. And that, once again, sets the stage for attracting this positivity, really being in the moment and focusing on how I'm feeling when I'm writing these affirmations and what really is going to make me feel good and set my soul on fire because that's truly what is going to motivate you in your business or in your personal life is identifying what sets, sets you on fire. To wrap up, those are my steps for how to start your day in a positive way.